Good morning. Good morning. We are here from the Arashi beach this morning and we are going to check out on the west part of the island, west part of the Aruba island. Uh, for the situation going on with the sargassum, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So I thought, why not make a video so I can update you guys about the situation, uh, at least here at Arashi. Yes. No problems. No. No it's problems. It's looking beautiful. It's looking really, really nice. There is absolutely no signs of sargassum and uh, yeah, looks a beautiful, beautiful morning. Yeah. And next it's quite, we quite. Yeah. We are very early today. That's that's a good point. Uh, and while we are at it, uh, folks often ask me like, oh, the beaches get really you know, really busy in the afternoon and such. Uh, when is the best time? Well, the best time is as early as possible. The beach is not so uh, busy. It looks great. Yeah. The water looks tempting, but unfortunately we do have a few other things to do today. So we're not, today is not, will not be a beach day for us. No. But we would have loved to. We also met some folks just briefly <laughs> from Pennsylvania. Maybe they are watching this video later on. And uh, yeah, nothing further, uh, I think, from Arashi. No. And no. we'll Up go to the next one. To the next one. So we are now in front of the Ritz Carlton. I uh, just thought I'd stop here briefly and check it out. And also here, no signs of sargasm as far as I can see. So I know the Marriott uh, hotels, the resorts are very popular. So I'm, I tried to take a look here absolutely no signs the water looks great very calm very beautiful let's go to the next one we are now at the palm beach where we're gonna take a closer look on the situation and if there's anything to worry about and quite frankly not much almost not anything this what you see is not sargasm as far as i can see also no. right and no i cannot uh, looking further up i cannot see anything any sign oh is that a turtle nest, yes. I do believe, further up, what would be the Hilton, more or less. Oh, that's interesting. Beautiful place. <laughs> you don't get to see that uh, all that often. No. Let's take a, a look on this side. We are, by the way, uh, just in front of, or in between, actually, the Barcelo and the Hyatt resorts. And uh, let's just take a brief stroll on the Hyatt side, just around this here and uh, no no signs that which uh, means uh, it's a good news but I did want to uh, you know just for the sake of it mention that last week we did go on a hike on the uh, north side of the island and we did see actually a lot of sargassum yeah. so it's kind of like present mm -hmm. uh, but not as you know, you don't notice it on this side of the island. The Palm Beach and all of the beaches that we are visiting t this morning are uh, on the west side of the island. And probably that's one of the main reasons why Aruba is, again, a blessed island where we don't, even when we do get it, we usually don't get it as bad. And that's uh, unless there is a, a, you know, a situation where we have a lot of waves and things like that. But, as you can see, the waters are very, very calm and that actually helps uh, against it. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. We are now at the beautiful, beautiful Eagle Beach where we are wondering if there are any effects of the sargassum. Next to the Fofoti trees, by the way, no hanging anything 
on these trees. No climbing. I see a lot of folks when they are taking photos here that they'll sit on them. Don't do that because they're very, 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 um, you know, delicate. Uh, they could fall anytime. As you can see, the tree is going with the wind and that's why it's growing like this. And that's one of the reasons why someone probably from the government workers have put this up so the tree will not, you know, go to the side and fall. Now, is there sargasm here? Hmm. I do see some very, very light signs of it, maybe in the water, ever so slightly, but I'm not so sure. It might, it might be just seaweed. Let's take a better look on this side. And uh, I don't think there is any sign really of it, right? There's no sign no, of... No, it looks beautiful, yeah, just like the others. And you were walking here the other day yep. with your daughter. Yes. And uh, did you maybe remember seeing any sargasm further up to, let's say, the Manchebo Beach? No, it was all clear. All clear. Yeah. So that was like two days ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so no, right. no issues to report from here either. But I will say that these beaches are very specifically up to now on the uh, west side of the island. Mm -hmm. We are going next to the DV beach and that one is a little bit to the south, a little bit on the other side. Let's see if that one, the last one, will have any signs, any sarcasm. We hope not, of course, because we want you to have the nicest, cleanest beaches in the world and the Eagle Beach is one of the very, very top beaches. So hopefully no issues further up either. So our last stop is here at the Punta Bravo or also known as more or less the Divi Beach. We are in front of the Casa del Mar Resort. I do see, do you see some red flags? Yeah. That means preferably no swimming. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least for now, we don't see anyone in the water. The waves so are um, high. Yeah. Much higher as where we were uh, just. Yeah, it's higher than normal. Yeah. Uh, but as far as the beach quality, absolutely no sarcasm. It's probably the nicest beach yeah. we have seen this, this morning. This is the most clean beach. Maybe with the exception of Arashi. And let's go on this other side now where we'll be walking towards the Divi Resort, partially. Some folks enjoying the morning as well. Photo shoot. Yeah. What looks like a girl's trip or yeah. something. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, the, the waves are definitely higher than normal. Yes. Which I don't want to sound alarming, but usually that's not a good sign for the beach itself. Uh, that's when the beach does get eroded. It gets eaten away by yeah. the water but hopefully that's very temporary and that the beach will not be further affected. Now from this side, again, no signs of sargassum. No. Absolutely no signs. We do have a few clouds further up, but as far as my eyes can see, no signs. I do see one turtle nest. And in case you are wondering, the turtle nest, uh, this is the season where they are laying the eggs. It starts more or less in uh, March, yep. April, and we just saw a few new ones at the Eagle Beach. Yeah. So we'll be expecting them, uh, let's say from early June 
to mid-July or so they'll be hatching. So yeah. if you are in Aruba, you might, might want to occasionally check out and drive along these beaches at any time of the day really. And uh, they might be hatching and you might be for a very beautiful show. Yeah. Without further ado, as far, from my part at least, uh, I think uh, it's a very good to see that the beaches are mostly in tip-top shape. Yeah. And beautiful as always. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. And uh, here, further up, we see, we do see like maybe four or six people swimming still in these sides. There are no lifeguards on duty, just no. so keep that in mind when you do have these situations. But yeah, it's been a successful morning, and yeah, I hope nice that to do. we with this update we were able to uh, have you take a look with us. Yeah. Thanks All for right. watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next, next one. one. <laughs> bye bye, folks. Bye bye.